Hello there, it's Anna here and welcome to Little Crochet Farm. Today I will show you how to make Romeo. This is my version of this beautiful Romeo. If you follow me here, you already saw the Juliet that I uploaded last week. I use for this pattern cotton yarn and 2mm crochet hook. All the information you may need for this pattern you have in the written in the description below. The written pattern will take you to my website and there you have all the information that you may need. So I will start it here today showing you how to make this beautiful little toy we will crochet from the legs to the head and I hope you learned something new today. All right, so let's start. Great. For this pattern, we'll start with the magic ring here. And we are crocheting now the arms. We will crochet the arms and we'll set them on the side. And we will crochet together later on because this pattern we will not sew the pieces, okay? So here you'll work six single crochet in the magic ring. If you don't know how to make the magic ring, there is a link in the description of this video that will take you to a complete uh, YouTube tutorial showing you how it's done, all right? But here I work very slow and I try to show you in more details that I can. All right, so here one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you close the magic ring and we'll start here for number for round number two okay so for round number two you will work six single crochet again okay so here i will just work here one single crochet two single crochet three four five And six, our last one here. Okay, and you see the, the stitches are curling to the outside of the arms. This is not what we want. But first, I will just secure the beginning of my yarn here. I like to do this every time I'm starting a crochet toy, just to make a, a, it's a double secure that this magic ring will remain very closed and tight. All right. I do this all the time, you will see. All right, so now let's organize these stitches because it's curling to the outside. The stitches are very small and the tension is very tight. That's why it happens. And the detail is very little, right? So you see here, now we have a little hand. Okay, good. Now that we organize these stitches, we will move on for the next round. And here for the next round, I will start the first stitch and then I will change the color of the yarn from my light blue, okay, to my light blue. Here, if you don't know how to make the color changes, here I'm doing the most basic way to change colors. There is a link in the description below that there is a complete YouTube uh, tutorial showing you the four most used ways to change colors in crochet toys. I advise you to check that out. But here I'm just doing the simplest way, okay? And here for round three to six, you will crochet just single crochet. So you'll continue work working six single crochet per round, all right? And I'm crocheting here above the tails of the yarn that I'm working, so I can just cut it the thread at the end. But you can just make a simple knot because it will be inside of the toy. All right, once you finish round number six, this is how it should be looking like. I will hide this yarn here inside of the arm. You don't need to add stuffing material in the arm because it's very little. And we will make one more color change here to your contrast color. In my case, I'm using, I'm working with the dark blue, okay? So now for round number seven, you will work one half double crochet and one half double crochet increase, okay? First you chain one, all right? Turn your working side to the opposite direction you were working before and you start wor working only in the back loop here of the stitch 
All right. So you work only in the back loop. So I made one half double crochet and now I will increase one. So I'll work two half double crochet inside this stitch. Okay, and you will repeat this three times. One half double crochet, one increase half double crochet all the way until the end. And only working in the back loop of the yarn. Remember to turn your work, okay? So now here I will just make a simple knot to secure this thread here. Oops, I almost lost <laughs> my stitch. So let me cut this. And we will make here just a simple knot to secure this tail before we continue. We have just one more round, one more row to go. All right. This is a very nice detail. That's why you turn your work, you are working clockwise and then you change your working direction. So these stitches will be facing outside, okay? Super good. Now what's gonna happen here is you see these stitches, this here are, let me show you here better, is the front loop, the remaining front loop that you haven't worked on it. This is one, this is two, another one here, another one here, four, one here, one here, six, right? So we'll work on those stitches now. So you have six stitches from the main uh, arm and you will work three stitches here, taking one stitch, from one side and one from another and this will close the arm okay so here is one stitch here is another one the second stitch just the front the remaining front loop okay and the third stitch is this one here in the corner you see this one here good and that's it now your arm is done. Look at this. I like it very much, this detail. It looks super cute. I'm going to cut this yarn and we will complete fasten off. Here you don't need to leave a tail for sewing it because we will not sew this, uh, we will not sew this detail, okay? We will crochet together with the body later on. So here I'll just show, show it to you how you hide this uh, remaining tail. It's a very simple way. All right, let me just organize these stitches. One, two, three. You see, you will work in these three stitches later on. But we'll, we will get there soon. Okay, now you can cut this yarn and you make another one following the same instructions, okay? So this is one arm and this is the second arm. Super good. We'll leave this on the side for now and now we'll start working the legs, okay? So here you'll start again with a magic ring and you will work six single crochet inside the magic ring. So one more time, we'll go through this magic ring and the six single crochet, okay? So once again, if you need extra help, there is links in the description of the, this video that take you to complete tutorials showing you the techniques that I use for, for my complete this pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's close this. And if you need any help, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. I'm learning how to shoot better uh, video patterns for you. So it's always good to hear uh, in which part you have some difficulties, what is not clear for you, so I can be more specific for the next time. Okay, for the second round, you'll work two single crochet, one increase, repeat two times, and you'll have eight stitches at the end of this round, okay? So for the leg, we will work with eight single crochet. So one here, and one increase. Here, when I say one increase, it means that you will crochet two single crochet on the same stitch, okay? In the same stitch. All right, so here again, I will double secure this beginning of the yarn. You already know how I work with this. So you just insert in a sewing needle and double secure the beginning of the thread. 
Okay, so we have here the starting of our little leg. And we'll work again here with the color change. All right, so in the first stitch here, I'm making another color change. And I will work with the brown. This will be the beginning of the pants of our little Romeo. Okay, so now for round number three to seven, you will work eight single crochet. Right, so once again, I'm working here on the top of my threads. But if you want, you can just make a simple knot here. You don't worry to work on this way. The detail can be very little and it can be a little bit confusing. And I'm, I work like this because I'm used to it. There is no reason I could have done just a simple knot. <laughs> okay, so let me just cut this thread here. We don't need this anymore. And I will continue working here until the round number seven. And I will catch up with you here so we can continue. Super good. So this is the leg once it's finished. And I will hide this here inside. And for the legs, you should add a little bit of stuffing material, okay? For the arms, we didn't need. But for here now, for the legs, we will need a little bit. Super good. This is looking very nice. Now what's going to happen here is you will make one leg following the same instructions and you will finish off. You cut the yarn and finish off the leg. You here see completely. The other one you will not finish off. You will continue working with this leg and this thread. Okay. So here you're going to make two chains. All right. Now you take one stitch of the finished leg and you insert this loop of your needle inside this finished leg, inside one of the stitches, any stitches can be, it's fine. And now here you work 20 single crochet all around the leg, which means here, one single crochet from the first chain plus one single crochet from the other chain. And now here you work the eight single crochet you have for this leg, right? So it's like eight from one leg, eight from another leg, and four from the chains, and two from one side and two from the other side. I will show you here. Okay, so you finish eight stitches from one leg. Now you'll make one single crochet here on the other side of the chain, and another single crochet here on the other side of the chain, all right? So you had two chains, you make two single crochet in one side, two single crochet on the other side. It is four single crochet plus eight single crochet from one leg and eight from the other leg. Once you're done, you'll have 20 single crochet, okay? Now for round number nine, you will work four single crochet, one increase, repeat four times, and you should have a total of 24 stitches here at the end of this round, okay? So here, let's work our first increase. Here is one and another one. Now you continue working here all the way around. One, two, three, four, and this is the increase. Okay, work all the way around and I will catch you up for next round. Super good. So this is how it should be looking like. Now we will work just one round with 24 single crochet. I forgot to mention here that I add my stitch marker. Here, for my stitch marker, I use just a different color um, piece of yarn because I don't like to work much with the plastic um, markers. I think it stretch a bit the stitch. Okay, so now here I am on the last stitch of the round 10. I will do a color change again with my contrast color, the black, uh, the black dark blue and for round number 11 you will work only in the back loop of the stitch again we'll work on the back loop okay so here you make back loop slip stitch all around this round and i will catch you up once you're done here for round number 12 okay super good here now how smart i am I'm just gonna make a simple knot that I'm telling you that you can just make a simple knot and hide inside the toy, right? Okay, so here it's super good. We don't need to crochet above any tail here. <laughs> Great, so now for round number 12, you'll work back loop again, but single crochet this time. 
So back loop single crochet. Just grab the back loop here. All right, this will create a very nice line, like a very nice division between the legs, between the pants and the shirt, okay? If you don't know how what is back loop, front loop of the stitch, even though I think you can see it pretty well here, there is a link in the description below. Okay, so this is the effect that we want. You see the two lines here, very nice sharp division. This is what we want. So for now, now for round number 13, you will work just single crochet, okay? Just single crochet here, and I will catch you up once you're done. So we move on for round number 14. Very easy round here we have. All right, super good. Now let's move on for the next round, round 14, you will start with the decreases. So here you will work two single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 18 stitches at the end of this round. All right, so here for crochet toys, we work with the invisible decrease, which is very simple here. You only grab the front loop of the next two stitches and you make a single crochet. That's it. All right, one and two and one decrease here. I'll repeat all the way until the end and this is how it should be looking like. Now for round number 15 you just work with 18 single crochet and here let me tell you one thing if you don't know at all if you have never done invisible decrease there is a link in the description of this pattern of this tutorial. Take a look there. 